Order. Members have had their fun. We come to question number 12, Gareth Hughes. Order. I want to hear Gareth Hughes from the... Order. The Honourable Annette King ought to cease interjecting. Gareth Hughes. Order, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Fisheries. I apologise to, to the member. I say to the National Backbench now, I must be able to hear the question. Gareth Hughes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Fisheries. Does he have confidence in New Zealand fisheries management system, in particular how it deals with bycatch? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Speaker, uh, yes, New Zealand has an internationally recognised fisheries management system. Of course, we are constantly introducing improvements. Mr Speaker, to the Minister. Uh, Gareth Hughes. Is it possible that the country's favourite emperor penguin, Happy Feet, was killed by a trawler? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Speaker. Speaker. So far as the Minister has re responsibility Mr. for Speaker, happy feet. It is, it is highly improbable because my officials had a screen of happy feet's transponder next to a screen of fishing vessels transponders and they never came near to each other. Gareth Hughes. To the Minister. Given the Minister, in his response to questions for written answer, identified there were nine southern blue whiting trawlers recorded within 20 to 50 nautical miles of Happy Feet's last known location. How can he say it's highly unlikely he wasn't killed by a trawler? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Order I want, order I want to hear the Minister's answer. It'll be interesting. Mr Speaker, I can report then that when Happy Feet's transponder turned off, the nearest southern blue whiting fishing vessel was 32 kilometres away. Their fishing lines aren't 32 kilometres long. <laughs> Paul Quinn. Is the Minister able to advise us as to what did happen to Happy Feet? The Honourable Phil Heatley. I really want to. <laughs> Mr Speaker, I have, I have heard it said that Happy Feet may very well have become a happy meal. <laughs> Gareth Hughes. The Minister... Order, I realise this is the last... Order. Given... I realise this is the last question of this parliamentary term, but I still want to hear it. Well, Thank you, Mr. Uh, Gareth to the Hughes. Minister, given that a southern blue whiting trawler can cover 50 nautical miles in a day, and we're talking about an incredibly long net uh, that's almost half a kilometre wide, 75 metres high, how can the Minister claim that it's very unlikely that Happy Feet wasn't possibly trawled by a southern blue whiting trawler. The Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr Speaker, the reason I say it's highly unlikely is because when Happy Feet's transponder, or whatever you call it, turned off, the closest vessel was 32 kilometres away. That would mean that the vessel raced the transponder's um, emission which went probably faster or close to the speed of light. That is a very fast fishing vessel indeed. Gareth Hughes. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Oh, point of order, point of order, Gareth Hughes. Sir, it was a very good answer, but it didn't get to the question, which was, can order. a trawler cover 50 nautical miles in a day? Well, I think the Minister gave a pretty fair answer as to why he believes that uh, happy, the trawler could not have caught happy feet uh, because of the difference, uh, the difference in the speed of the transponder signal compared to a trawler's speed. And, and I think that's a reasonable answer to that question. But the member does have some more supplementaries 
to pursue the matter, Gareth Hughes. To the Minister. Would Happy Feet have had any chance of survival had he been captured by a southern blue whiting trawler, given that it is 400 metres wide, 75 metres high, and can trawl for six to eight hours at a time? The Honourable Phil Heatley. I hate to sink the member further, but unfortunately the facts are that the closest vessel to Happy Feet when the transponder went off was in fact the Tungaroa, the boat that released Happy Feet. Gareth, Gareth Hughes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister. Is the Minister concerned... Order, order I apologise to the member, but... Order. Order. Order, colleagues. Uh, colleagues, please, we've only got, I believe, uh, we've only got a couple more questions. And <laughs> if, if, we can, if we can just hold it together for that length of time. Gareth Hughes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister. Is the Minister concerned that a southern blue whiting fishery not only possibly posed a threat to the emperor penguin Happy Feet, but is also the fishery of the highest bycatch of New Zealand fur seals and also captures seabirds and critically endangered sea lions? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr Speaker, as I say, I'm reasonably convinced that a southern blue whiting vessel did not catch Happy Feet. Uh, we are always disappointed with bycatch, but the industry is working very well with the Ministry of Fisheries to minimise this. Gareth Hughes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister. Will the Minister consider stopping the destructive practice of bottom trawling, given its devastating effects on the marine environment and endangered species, and the risk to our fisheries image globally, given last week The Guardian ran a, an article on New Zealand's Hector's dolphin, and uh, that was covered prominently in the UK media. Is it a risk to our clean green brand? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr Speaker, the fishing industry has voluntarily closed one third of New Zealand's sea space to bottom trawling. We support that move. Uh, it's one of the largest uh, areas closed in the world, which shows their uh, responsible attitude, and I support them. And that, colleagues, brings question time today to a close. I uh, call on Government Order of the Day number one.